So guys, welcome back to my channel and this time I'm going to show you the FSR 3 frame generation mod from Newcam 9 which has been uh, posted to github.com uh, is been finally released and this is the build version 0 0.50 so yeah mm, this is uh, how you do it I'm, I'm gonna uh, follow you through the steps I'm gonna show you some steps that you're gonna follow and uh, implement the FSR 3 frame generation mod into the game cyberpunk 2077 uh, finally this is there uh, this is only for the Witcher 3 and cyberpunk 2077 game and you know, first of all you're gonna download this file from here uh, these two files like uh, okay this one file dlss2 fsa3 and uh, 0, 0 0.50 zip and you're gonna uh, archive that to here uh, download that and just i'm gonna show you here yes just uh, here you're gonna this is the folder i've extracted the files and just copy these two files like this dll and this dll into the cyberpunk main folder where is your exe file has been this bin under here here the paste i have pasted already so here is the file and then you got a for the 0 0.50 version you got to go here this disable nvidia signature checks option uh, the file batch uh, register file and you gotta show more options merge the file yes you're gonna uh, t t say yes uh, click yes because i have already done it i will not uh, do it here okay and then uh, you have already copied these two dll files into the uh, main folder where the cyberpunk.exe has been and then you gotta mm, you have uh, if you have any like uh, MSI afterburner or something like that to show your FPS you just on turn that on and turn on the game exe like this I'm gonna close this right now yes and here will be the option uh, called this dialog box uh, that will show you that DLSS G2 FSR 3 is loaded AMD FSR 3 frame generation will now replace NVIDIA DLSS G frame generation Please note this is an experimental free software and uh, subject to bugs or whatever. You got to just uh, select this okay and uh, wait for some time. The game will load now. Yes. <coughs> I am showing you the from the first time the, from the beginning the, that how should you do and how should you copy the files and stuff. So please leave a like and make sure you uh, buy the mod from Duke9M or whatever the name of the guy is. A big shout out to him because he really made this mod to uh, this game. Because uh, MDFSA 3 frame generation file source code is now out officially. And they will implement it to the game later maybe. And uh, just start the game. Continue. Now I am showing my settings, like uh, this is the settings, now go to the graphics, video, uh, V-Sync should be off, okay V-Sync should be off from the NVIDIA control panel, if you turn that off, that uh, leave that, because uh, in other way you, you can off it, V-Sync off and graphics settings, you got to first, this is the DLSS super resolution quality mode, uh, and DLSS now, this is the one thing, like uh, FSR3 frame generation replaces the DLSS frame generation in a good way. Uh, it really replaces the frame generation of the DLSS and turns into the FSR 3 frame generation. So I'm going to turn it off to see, uh, show the difference. Okay, show you the difference. Ignore the background sound, guys. Sorry for the music. And everything is set to ultra, high, high. Okay, RTX is off. I think RTX is off. Yes. Everything is ultra. Apply this one. Okay, and then come back to menu menu and continue the game where you save the save file. Finally, some peace from the music. And sorry for my bad English. I know my my English is bad, but excuse me anyway. Let's continue. Yes, now it's giving me like uh, okay. What is this? Yes, now it's giving me like 64 to 60, 56, 55 on the crowd density high, 
everything on Ultra 1080p, 3060 Ti, and Ryzen 5 3600. I have uh, the PC which I have right now. Ah. Oh my God, what is this shit? Okay, and now I I will show you the difference. I'll show you the difference. Okay, this is the DLSS quality mode with everything set to Ultra. No frame generation enabled right now. Default settings. Yes, we're gonna, gonna stay here. 53 FPS. I just come here settings. Another one. This is a yes DLSS frame generation, which is implemented uh, the mod by uh, FS3 replaced with uh, FS3 frame generation and turn this on. Everything is okay. Let's set to this to quality as per your preference. And then everything is uh, high ultra. Crowd density is high. Everything is on on high ultra. Okay, apply this. Adjust. We're gonna see the difference right now. And just see the difference. Just see the difference. My God, it was 53 FPS. Right now is 100, 100, almost 100 FPS. My God, 90 to 90. Everything is set to ultra. If you're gonna say this to high or uh, medium, you will get more FPS definitely. You'll get more FPS. There. And the the game feels lot much uh, responsive. My God, there are no latency or very minimum latency. I know. It's so good, man. It feels so good. Now it dropped to 74, 77, 78, 79. Because it, the crowd density was uh, set to crowd density to medium, that will give you a lot of this. But I'm getting uh, most probably CPU bound because my CPU can't. Um, it's handling the game in a way. It needs more higher CPU than Ryzen 5 3600. You will get more higher FPS if you have a 5600 rex or 5800 rex by the way. It's like 90 FPS. In the ultra settings, I never imagined I'll get highest 90 FPS in a high ultra settings in Cyberpunk. Man, this is so crazy, man. 90, almost 90 FPS. I should, uh, I should turn the crowd density to medium maybe. To get more FPS boost. So. Crowd density to medium, I think. Yes, medium. And this one is the ultra, so I'll get, go with high. High, everything high. Screen specifics and quality is high. You want to set that to high? It's high. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. And then we got to turn back. Get back. Motion blur is off, by the way. Ray tracing is off. RT is off. Frame generation uh, or FSO3 implementation is on. DLSS sharpness is 0 0.35 and super resolution is set to quality. Uh, quality, frame generation is on right now. Crowd density medium, let's go. And uh, let me show you one thing that HDD mode should be set to auto and simultaneous multi threading is uh, set to be on. If you have a multi threaded CPU, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I uh, thought it. I thought that. That uh, crowd density setting is uh, consuming a lot of FPS right now, yeah. 120, 110 FPS right now, yes. 96, 106, 107, 113. And the game, like, it was not uh, before. Not like this before, man. The game feels a lot more smoother, a lot more smoother. Oh, my shit, my. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, man. It feels so smoother. I, I'll uh, check a car right now. I call a car. And see the difference while driving, maybe because that will be a lot of faster than I'm walking right now. So I'll, yes. Where's my car, bro? Oh, car is already came, man. How oh, it's so fast? How oh, is so fast? Yeah, just see the difference, man. Hundred zero, hundred FPS, almost hundred ten FPS. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 FSR3 mod 138 FPS. Are your highest? What is the highest? You can go, man. What the highest FPS you can achieve? Oh my god, 148 FPS. And highest. I'm gonna check that uh, highest. Possible uh, FPS I can get on this one. Oh, 
my god and this game will um, i mean uh, this mod will support rtx 2000 series also if you have a 2060 or uh, 3050 or 2070 super 2080 you will uh, have uh, definitely the support if you play, play, uh, enable this mod Like what's up? Uh, let me hit a police chase right now. So police chase that will be intense sequence. For me. The weapon draw. Uh, how to draw? Open. It's lot smoother. That is lot smoother, man. And this is ultra setting, so uh, I'm gonna turn on RT on right now. Oh my god, I'm done. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, oh my god. Weapon glitch, what is that? Okay, finally, I've seen some good idea, and I'll turn RT on right now. So let me show you the RT RTX performance on. Everything is on. Sun shadows, local shadows, and this lightning is I think ultra set to ultra. Path tracing is definitely off. That's gonna lot cause a lot of FPS. So I'm gonna turn that off. Keep that off. DLSS quality and frame generation is on and then RT, RTX on, ultra, apply the settings and everything is set to high, everything is set to high and keep that in your memory that uh, this crowd density option is consuming a lot of FPS so you should turn that off in order to get a smoother experience but if you have a higher CPU then you can go for the crowd density option mm, and yeah, come back, come back, come back man. Oh my god, RTX on 100 FPS. That is uh, something. And there are like no artifacts, I think. There are no artifacts that uh, was in the previous version, that was present in the previous version of this mod, like 0 0.30. There is no artifacts. Basically, yeah, there, there, are, there, are, there are a bit of glitch like artifacts, yeah. Yeah, but not that you can notice in uh, while playing that much there is a bit of artifacts present in this game rtx on ultra this is rtx on man what is happening with my <laughs> pc man this rtx on is this your i are you sure this rtx on quality rtx ultra oh my god no i will not turn on path tracing by the way <laughs> path tracing <laughs> Okay, okay. I, oh my god, this is RTX Ultra. Oh my god, oh my god. Let me call a car again. I'll go for a bike this time. RTX on 100, 0 to FPS, 100, almost 90 FPS, I think. We'll reach in the city and let's see how the performance goes. Let's enter the city. But the game feels a lot smoother, right? If you're using a keyboard mouse, I don't know if you're using a controller, you will get this much of smoothness or not. But if you're using a keyboard or mouse, and you have a very good mouse, uh, customized DPI with high sensitivity, you will get a lot smooth experience, bro. Like, 
this is so smooth man there is no starters or basically no cheaters or frame drops this is amazing this is amazing it's so good and i got a one star nice one but the uh, RTX implementation, I don't see any RTX element right here. RTX here, uh, I think I should go for the water area or something like reflections. But there are some reflections in the city area. So this is city, but I am not getting any RT on uh, effects like just some water. And the VRAM consumption is almost like 7.5 GB, so that is okay because I have 8 GB of VRAM. That is really low for a 3060 Ti, but 3060 has 12 GBs, and no, there are no artifacts like that much visible. But there are some ghosting in the yes, there are some ghosting. Like close, look closely at the back tire of the bike. There are some ghosting, but you can't manage it. Oh, this is the new 2.1 update. You can wheelie. You can do wheelie. My God. I never thought that I would get uh, 110 FPS in, <laughs> in Cyberpunk with ultra settings. High settings, man. And the game feels a lot smoother. Okay, I should turn on path tracing right now. So, let's turn on path tracing. This is 1080p, by the way. Delete this quality and turn on the path tracing. Apply. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Everything is on, 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 high. Note one thing that I am not using the ultra or the highest setting in the volumetric fog resolution and the volumetric cloud quality and the max dynamic decals or the screen space reflection quality. I am going to set this to ultra so I can. Check out those RT reflections. Note that. And crowd density should be set to medium if you have a 3600 uh, CPU. But if you have a 5800X 50, or higher than that, if you can turn on, you can turn it on. Delicious frame gen is, uh, I mean, F3 frame gen is in on. Ray re reconstruction should be set to on, yes, quality. All and it's AMD SMT is on. So get back, get back. Path tracing is on. How is the path tracing option? Yes. Hmm. Okay, now this is consuming. Oh my god. Oh, this is like 74, 77 FPS and the game feels so smooth, man. In the path tracing, this is path tracing. There is no screen tearing effects or something like jitters, frame drops, incredible, like this, so, this feels so smooth, man. This feels so smooth. Let me still do some hoily. Oh, there is a ghosting there, yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, shit, shit. Oh, how am I? On the bike still. Yeah, this feels uh, definitely smoother, but the frame time is increased. Like I was getting eight to nine for to ten from down to seventeen point five ms. Now this is some RT areas, RT reflection. You can get some RT reflection here. Yeah, the reflection is really good. There are lot of there are not of lot of reflections, but still there are there are reflections. Game looks so good. I think I recommend the path tracing setting to be turned off because it was way smoother than before. Path tracing should be off because that's not for us. In 3060 Ti, we're getting RT on and 100 FPS. That is enough. That is enough. Ray reconstruction should be off. DLSS frame chain is on. I mean FS3. Quality DLSS. Everything is alt. I think not ultra. Is high. 
crowd density medium rtx i think rtx off maybe rtx off and now uh, the base settings high yes 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 apply this yes now we are getting like 140 fps my god smoke this is like smokes and already my temperature is uh, gpu temperature on 65 66 and the cpu 68 it's winter winter in india so that's nothing in summer you will get like 72 75 or maybe low 80s not more than that Looks so good, man. Feels so smooth. Feels so smooth. And they will officially implement it into the game, I think. In a later, uh, I think, uh, early 2024, maybe in March or maybe February. They will uh, add it officially into the game. But we'll see more, I think, FPS boost or something like more features of FSR 3 quality mode and performance modes. Feels so smooth, man. 147 FPS on a Cyberpunk high settings, DLSS quality with FSR 3 frame generation. My God, 147 FPS. This is something crazy. The most beautiful area of the game. Oh my God, man. And I have turned even VSync off. VSync is set to off, but there is no screen tearing. Just look at this. There is no screen tearing. Oh my god, this feels so smooth. Almost 90 FPS, 90, 100. You will definitely get a uh, above 90 F FPS on a 3060 or 3060 Ti. Definitely get that. Even if you have a 2060 Super or 2070. You will get like 90 to 100 FPS more easily. Okay, let me just stop here. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much.